I'm Rick Howard, President of Kingdom Magic Vacations. In my job, I get to travel a lot. I explore the world on land and sea, eating in unique restaurants, and discovering interesting locations. I'm always looking for new places to visit, and I want you to travel with me. Welcome to Travel with Rick. Well, hey guys, thanks a lot for joining us. We've got a great show for you this week. I'm here with my good friend and general manager of Brooks Lake Lodge. Hey Adam, how's it going? Good, how are you? This is Adam, Adam Long, as I mentioned. He is the general manager of one of my favorite places in the world, and of course, my wife's favorite place in the world, Brooks Lake Lodge near Du Bois, Wyoming. Kind of north of Yellowstone, north of Jackson well, Hole, south right? Of Yellowstone. South of Yellowstone. Okay. North of Jackson. North of Jackson Hole. So that's where we fly into. But Adam, this is a great place. Thanks a lot for having hey, us back welcome. here. Man, Pleasure. So Pleasure. awesome. What a lot of snow we're getting this year, yeah, huh? Yeah, your your trip this year, you had hardly any last year. And, yeah. Uh, well, well we thought we had a lot. We had a lot of year, snow yeah. to play in. Yeah. So I guess. And now this year is totally different. <laughs> It's kind of relative, right? I mean, you know, we got here, we came here in the middle of June one year, the first trip, this is like our fourth trip out here now, but the first time we ever came out in the middle of June, we came for a summer trip. You guys had plenty of snow then. Yeah, we could so, have had a snowmobile on that. <laughs> which was kind of a bit of a blast, but you guys have, this is like a record, this for us anyway, this is the most snow we've ever this, seen. This week is fantastic, and this is why the people come to the Rocky Mountains or to this area to even right. have snowmobiling, skiing, or whatever it may be, but, uh, you know, we've had over 60 inches of snow in the last four or five days. And, um, All right, five feet, guys, 60 inches, six yeah. zero inches yeah, of snow. I mean, you say it you say it so quick, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's just like a common <laughs> thing, yeah, you know. Yeah. I want you guys to know, 60 inches. You get off your snowmobile, the snow is up to yeah, here on you. It's chest deep. We went, <laughs> well, not with you guys, but we went ice fishing the other day with people, and it was, you know, chest deep just so we could auger the hole. Yeah. Uh, just to set the ice house down to ice fish. So, um, yeah, we we got a lot of snow. We I mean, there are, there are a couple of days that, you know, I'm used to getting stuck. It's my fourth year here. We snow a build now for three years. One summer trip, three winter trips. We're used to, not used to, not by any means. We're getting a little better at it. But, you know, we're kind of getting used to the conditions. But this year, we're everybody's getting stuck, right? One day we went out and our... My, Leslie got stuck. I always get stuck. Even our guide Brian, who is a professional at this stuff, he's getting stuck yeah, out there. Yeah. And literally, you, you get stuck. You stick the whole snowmobile to the seat, even up yep. to the handlebars yeah. and snow. You know. Well, and it's just kind of how it is right now. I mean, you, <laughs> it's you, you wish for the snow, and we got it. So right. That's right. for sure. And and uh, I mean, it might be a little bit much for some people, but it's. Uh, exactly what we need sure so for us amateurs it's a little challenging it's a little harder to snowmobile but for the guides and for you and you guide a lot of times yeah. too right you take groups out but for the professional guides here they are loving it this is like the best thing skinner you know a guy that we've introduced on our summer video is the head wrangler here um, with the horses in the summertime um, you know we're out watching him the other day and he's literally turning his snowmobile on the side to the point to where he's his helmet is in the snow yeah. and you know, Brian's doing the same thing out there, and you know, one of the other guys, Mark, they're just loving this stuff. Yeah, right? well, this is why people want to guide and why guests want to come. Right, right. It, it is, is kind of snow. It is truly amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, but let's talk about this wonderful place first Brooks Lake Lodge. The accommodations here, this is like in summertime, it's a dude ranch. Yeah. Basically, in the wintertime, it's a snowmobiler's paradise, yeah, pretty yeah. much, right? That's Different the reason boats. ice fishing. But it's a dude ranch that you guys run like a five star resort, yeah. really, right? And that's what we go for. That's what we want to do and provide that service to our guests. And, you know, not only um, even from, you know, the bath products that you guys have in, sure. the, in the cabins and in yeah. the rooms, I mean, everything is top notch. Your spa. The spa is just incredible. You have a, a you have a massage therapist here that's full time on staff, yep. and um, just a wonderful spa facility there with a hot tub. You can sit and look out at the snow and the Pinnacle Mountains yeah, from a hot tub. On you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so after a day, a full day of snowmobiling, you come back, you're tired, you can grab a drink at the bar, head over to the hot exactly. tub for a bit, relax those sore muscles. Yeah. From all that digging, there's even a gym there. You know, if you have to get yeah, your miles right. in, and if or if you if have you to didn't get on do enough digging before, you gotta work out. <laughs> we got yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want that, and then you can get a great massage, which is included in a lot of the packages yes. here, we'll, which we'll talk about. Yeah. Um, which is just an awesome thing. You can come and get a world class spa facility treatment here at the at the lodge while you're here. So, you know, that's not your. Um, I don't, I don't want to say about the, the resort down the road, but it's that's not, not the typical not experience, right? Yeah. yeah, it's not the norm in the area. Um, you know, 
know, there's all sorts of um, financial ways to to come and stay in this area. Um, we're at the higher end of that. Yeah. Also. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's a world-class vacation to be able to come out here in Snowmobile. We can talk about the food, the restaurant here. Um, well, the, you know, it's just fantastic. It is an all-inclusive type of resort, so when you stay here, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner is included. So um, the breakfasts are amazing. You have to carve up and, you yep. know, have a, have a hearty breakfast yeah, before yeah. you go out for your snowmobile yep. trip. And, you know, typically you run half-day and full-day snowmobile trips, yep. right? Yep. So yep. you can come back, have lunch here, and just have a great lunch. But the dinners, dude. Last night we had a uh, an elk risk, a, a rack of elk. It was just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. you it know, it's a great piece of meat. And and for those who think it might be gamey or not, I mean, you, yeah, you could have sold it as a piece of beef. Sure, absolutely. Of beef. And, you know, and there there's beef and there's you know trout and salmon and you know all kinds of fish dishes dishes on the menu here, which is just fantastic. Actually, the day that we're shooting this video, it's Valentine's Day. And um, our guide, Brian, his wife, Antonia, is the uh, executive chef here. And she's already given us a peek at the menu. We're having surf and turf tonight. Yes. Filet and shrimp skewers. So just yeah, fantastic. It be very good. It you know, be very good. there's a, a full-time pastry chef That's on great. staff here. So, you know, there's great danishes in the morning. There's great breads. There's just awesome things here. Um, always something to there's always something to fill your belly yeah and even the staff lunches and dinners here you know I'm uh, kind of very I, good yes I, you know I mean you you feed the staff here very very well yeah. we're, we're, we're looking at some of the meals and talking to uh, Skinner and Brian and thinking <laughs> well I, I kind of want to order that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I wish that's that a little was, off limits but yeah <laughs> yeah I wish that was on the menu they have hot dogs here for so for all you travelers or friends that know that how much I enjoy hot dogs all around the world yeah, they've even got those here for uh, lunches at the bar. And there's a great bar area here, so you know if you're out for a half day of snowmobiling, you want to come back and have something to warm you up. Or True. definitely once you're done snowmobiling, which we fully advocate not drinking while you snowmobile. True, 100. percent yeah. yeah. So you know once you're back at the lodge after a full day and you want to sit around the bar and share videos as we do or tell stories of how we stuck of we stories. got. Yes. Yeah, like our story from yesterday. We went out for a half day trip. We got back at five o'clock. I think you were just mounting up to go look yes. for us, actually. Yes. You know? yeah. But uh, that story is going to get bigger and it bigger. It will. And it you should. Know? Yeah, it should. It definitely yeah. should. It's yeah. like a fish. Yeah, by the time I tell my grandchildren, if I ever have them, I, this story will be huge. It'll be, you know, we were lost for two days, and they sent the helicopters yep. for us, and the general manager himself <laughs> headed the party to come discover us. And, and our guide kept us alive yep. because the guides here are so important. Yes, you know, and that's another nice thing about this. All your snowmobile trips are, are you provide a guide with them. Um, yes. You know, and the snow machines are just awesome. You know, great equipment, yeah, great, great guides. Equipment. Yeah, and great trails. Let's talk about the trails here. That's another amazing. Uh, you know, thing. There's, a, there's around 400 miles of groomed trails in just this area that we're at, um, and then you have two million acres to ride it. Right. So some of the portions where you were yesterday, you could go off the trail and have <laughs> some fun. That's where you're getting stuck. Yeah. But actually, yesterday you're getting stuck on the trail. Yeah. And that's because of how much. Snow right. You, you know, when you have 60 inches of new yeah. snow, you know, it's hard to find the trail sometimes. Yeah, it is. You know? and, and those markers were hidden for you yeah. yesterday. And and that's kind of what happened. That's exactly. that's why our trip went a little long because when you have 60 inches of new snow. It's not always even easy, even for your guides to be able to um, find what's going on with uh, with the trails because you can't see the markers. And sometimes, even if the snow doesn't cover them, we had so much snow blowing in. We had yeah. like whiteout. It was really windy effects, yesterday. You know, so. and so there's so much snow blowing um, that you just can't even see the trails sometimes. True. So you really just kind of hoping to yeah, get exactly. back. But it was an amazing trip. You know, and so Leslie and I, being from Florida, having no prior experience snowmobiling, that's where you guys are awesome. If you've ever thought about it, if you've ever imagined coming out and enjoying this sport, it's so easy entry, right? You can go right down, just right down there to the lake. Yeah. Imagine snowmobiling on a lake, but you know, when it's 30 degrees below zero well, for a few weeks, yeah, it freezes I mean, over, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, and that's some of the greatest places just to go and kind of tool around and learn to snowmobile, right? True, yeah. yeah. 
no trees Those to run into. But, meadows, yeah. Yeah, but I'll find trees and I'll find holes and tree wells. You know, you guys have heard about those before. You know, and that's the thing that Leslie was just reminding me when you come out. In your package is included um, all the snowmobile gear and equipment. Yep. I mean, Helmets, you bring your base bids, layer. Guides, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, you've got your boots, you've got your jackets and your bibs and everything that you need, um, or you can bring your own equipment out. Um, which now, after a few years, it's just something that has kind of become a personal preference for Leslie and I that we something we wanted to do. So you can come with no gear, or you can come fully yeah. geared, and yeah. you're ready to go. You know, so well, and if you have your own gear, you can just ship it out, and you don't have to travel with. It. Which we yeah. learn now, and which we'll probably do next year, because now it makes life a lot easier. That's yeah, right. absolutely. Less less stuff to schlep through TSA is always exactly. better. Easier getting through airports <laughs> is best. Yeah. Um, and there's other great activities here as well. well besides we snowmobiling, tubing. we went tubing today. Tubing was amazing. All right, so they have these really great tubes. So Adam, Adam, and Leslie and I jumped on snowmobiles and went down to the lake. There's some great hills down there. I would call them mountains, being from Florida, but they're hills <laughs> they're too, hills, right? Yeah. 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 So you towed the tubes down there, and we all went down, and you pulled me and Leslie and the tubes up to the top of the hill, and then you just push you nice, up. nicely yeah. pushed us right yeah. down the hill, uh -huh. and it was a amazing it was just really really incredible and you get pretty good speeds I think at one point I compared it to Big Thunder Mountain it was like a nice little drop you know thank goodness it wasn't a splash mountain because you know it's like 20 out here right now last week you guys were having like negative yeah we were in the negatives and uh, that's where this is a sign of you know great weather because we have right. these the perfect temperatures to get this snow as well as we have received the snow, so which is where you're, we're all spoiled right now. Now we've learned it's like 27 to 31 degrees or Roughly, something, right? Yeah. Somewhere right in there. I would say between, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So thing, things you learn out west. So imagine a Florida boy knowing the perfect yeah. weather for it yeah. to snow. And those perfect temperatures give you those big quarter size snowflakes that accumulate really fast. And, and that's what we're looking for. And Leslie even noticed outside of our window the other day, and we'll talk about the cabins here in a bit, that's amazing as well, but she even noticed outside of our window as the snow was falling, and we had these huge snowflakes, and they actually do, they really do look like snowflakes. Oh, yeah, I mean, they, they are, they, yeah. you know, that thing, you know, that unique yeah. shape. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and that's what's fun, is riding along on your snow and you're seeing these big, huge, snow. not the whiteout, but not, when it's yeah. snowing just a we're little just bit. Gently you know? snowing. Pretty cool. It's good, yeah. Pretty cool. So the facilities are really cool here. So this lodge, we even learned this today, even after four trips, we were talking to Antonia this morning, our, our chef, and she was telling us that this lodge and Old Faithful Lodge in Yellowstone were basically built by the same architect. I didn't yeah, realize that Same before. architect, same construction crew. Nice. So if you, all you Disney guys will know that if you're familiar with Wilderness Lodge, uh, the Wilderness Lodge in Orlando at Disney Resort is patterned after the Old Faithful Lodge in Yellowstone, yeah. which is the same lodge or the same architect that built this wonderful True. lodge, right? Yep. And this place is beautiful. It's all wood, it's timbers, it's so, so cool. And there have been some add-ons over the years, has, the spa yep. and the new lobby and, yep. and the areas. Um, so you can stay right in the inn. There are some rooms in the inn, yep. um, suites and double rooms and king rooms, I That's guess. That's correct. Yep. And then there are individual cabins um, kind of around the property. How many okay. cabins? Well, there's seven lodge rooms, lodge rooms and there's eight cabins. Right. And so those eight cabins, which you guys are yeah. in one, there's three of which that can sleep up to four or five. And that's one of the ones that you're in right, right. now. And, and they're very, very nice. And two of them are brand new within the last 10 years. And the rest of them have, you know, they have an older rustic quality, but they're all modern. Right, inside. right. Um, um, complete so. housekeeping services. Again, as we mentioned, you know, wonderful spa products right there. You know, the lotions and the shampoos and, and everything there. Completely top notch. Stocked with firewood every day oh, yeah. and fire starters every day. So and coffee makers and all the things that, that you would expect in any you know top quality resort. And uh, you know, Celeste and I are getting up in the morning and having coffee, and she's building a fire, and it's just so wonderful. We have a nice porch. Look right out over the lodge because we're kind of up on that side, so we look at down over the lodge, mm -hmm. and then on a clear day, if you, you can get see one, the mountains, see right to the Pinnacle Mountains, yeah, which exactly. are just beautiful, yeah, just exactly. incredible there. Um, yeah, so then you come down for your breakfast here in the lodge and coffee and everything. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place. To, so we're talking about activities. We're kind of getting off track, and going to the lodge rooms, which is great. But not only is there snowmobiling and tubing, also ice fishing. There's ice fishing, which yeah. we've done pretty well this season on catching fish. Um, we've only had a few days where it's been hit or miss, kind of. 
And then we also do uh, cross country skiing, snowshoeing. Um, those are two other activities, unguided um, activities. But the fishing, we take you down there, we set up the ice house, you're sheltered from the weather. And, uh, you know, if you want hot cocoa, we'll take it down there. <laughs> or you can come back and, and have some hot cocoa right here in the lodge, right by, by, by several of the different fireplaces that are here in the lodge, which is just a great place to hang out and relax. As I mentioned, today's Valentine's Day, you know, so we're here on Valentine's Day. And Leslie and I just kind of took a day off from snowmobiling because we had such a brutal day yesterday. <laughs> Amazing day, but a full day. And uh, so today we just kind of did some tubing, kind of hung out here in the lodge and Looking forward to a great dinner and hanging out with, you know, our now great friends, which is another wonderful thing about this place. After coming out here for four years, but even the first year we were here, yeah, we you guys are so feel friendly. Like yeah, I mean, you know, you can you can come down to the lodge anytime in the morning, and there's coffee out, and there's things, you know, before breakfast. But you get to be so friendly with the guides and, you know, with the you know the housekeeping staff, you know, Sonny and Brenda, and the servers in the restaurant, and the people behind the desk. Yeah. This, it, it is, it's like, fran like family after you come in for a while, you know, so really, really cool place. Um, so activities, uh, accommodations, spa, the food, the trails, the food, amazing. I'm telling you, um, you know, the chili here and the sourdough bowl and oh, the fried cookie dough ice cream. It's epic. <laughs> yeah. It's known yeah, well, it's far a, and wide. It right? is known for, <laughs> yes, statewide for sure. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think it was one of the first things that we heard about when, when we ever came here. Yeah. You know, you've got to try the fried yeah. cookie dough yeah. ice cream. And it's the only time. We only do that in the winter. Oh. We don't do it in the summer. Okay. We only do it in the winter and it's because of its popularity. Yeah. And so, um, so yeah, if, if you come here in the summer, you're not going to have that. But yeah. In the winter, for sure, you yeah. And I'm telling you, Ant Antonia makes some of the, um, Anto as she's known, you know, around, but Antonia makes some of the best sourdough bowl chili you can imagine. Yeah. You know, just yeah. incredible. And I'm telling you, next year, I'm getting one of those hot dogs from the bar with the chili. and having the chili with yeah, it. That's what I'm having for lunch. So we're coming back next year, if for nothing else, just yeah. to have one of these exactly. quality hot dogs here. Exactly. Just amazing, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, great bar staff, you know, great. Um, you know, Leslie has found the fireball now. Um, great wine list. Yeah. I mean, which, you know, is not the things, that, you know, world class food, world class spa, world class wine list mm -hmm. is not the thing that you would necessarily expect. Again, sure. don't want to mention the name of the resort down the road, but, you know, in the northern part of Wyoming, I guess, is that right? Northern yeah. Part of Wyoming? Well, yeah, we're the northern. Yeah. Northern, 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 northern Jackson Westport, Hole. Yeah. You know, in a place that, you know, we'll show you another video of this, but you park at the bottom of the road, which is about a five and a half mile. Yep. Um, have to take a snow coach to get here mm -hmm. or come in by ski or snowmobile. You actually have people that ski in here, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have people that ski in for lunch and, and ski in just to stay the night. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, however you want to get here, if you want to, you know, drive in, um, they'll pick your bags up at the bottom of the road sure. and you can ski up to the lodge and, you know, enjoy all of this wonderful food, these great accommodations, these incredibly friendly and accommodating people here. Uh, with great gear, you know, as we mentioned, you know, right there in the ski shop, you can get everything you need to be able to go out and whether it's ice fishing or tubing or, or, or a full day of snowmobiling, get everything you need right there. Uh, of course, pack your base layer, you know, yeah. as we learn things you learn out west, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you need know. something that wicks away the moisture but also keeps you warm. So. Yeah. And these trails, let's talk a bit more about the snowmobiling because the trails are so, so cool. There are so many places you can go. Uh, I remember last year, um, I don't know, I was probably in the bar here, but we were talking to some people and um, they were avid snowmobilers and they said, you ride the trails to get to the meadows, you know, basically. Yeah. And, you know, we found some great meadows this year that we'll share some video with you in a minute. Uh, of places. I'm working on my 360s. You're, you know? you're really close. <laughs> Brian you're says really I'm five close. feet away. We had, yeah. you know, the same guy as last year, same guy for three years going now. Brian is just an awesome, awesome guy. I can't say enough about him. He takes such good care of Leslie and I, and he just worries about Leslie so much. Uh, not worries about her, but just make sure that everything is good with her, you know, and, and, you know, as Brian always says, if Leslie falls, he'll be there before she hits the snow, you know, and he pretty much is, but, you know, he 
finds the great places for us to stop in snowmobile and we'll find these meadows and and the other day I was working on my 360 he said I'm five feet away from getting a complete circle you know so we've been working on our so that's pretty good progression yeah. considering you only are here a few yeah. days every every winter and last year I wouldn't have even attempted it so you know well, thanks to yeah. YouTube I've seen a couple of videos okay, I've watched right. Brian as long as something you know, helped you yeah I've watched Brian a bit which Brian and Skinner you know these guys are just you know they're fanatics at it and they're awesome at it you know but learning to side hill just a little bit yeah. you know where we, you know we get off on the side of, and that was really important yesterday with the wind and all the snow that we had getting back but the trails are just beautiful I mean you you know as you guys have seen some of our videos you know you're going through the trees and you're just seeing these beautiful um, you know um, lodge pole, lodge pine trees and you know just covered in snow and then you come out of that out of that into these wide open meadows it's Wyoming you know I mean next to Montana big sky country you know it's big, wide open Wyoming. you know and you know you see the mountains in the background there's just no better place to be it is truly a winter wonderland vacation uh, right 100%, yeah. yeah just a fabulous place to be so uh, we're so glad that we could take time to share this with you um, stick around for a few minutes we're going to show you a good bit of snowmobiling video and tell you about some of the stuff that we did out on our snowmobile you probably our saw some of our tubing we'll tag some more of that as we go adam before we go tell them a little bit about how they would contact you and um, well you can contact us either via email or over the phone if you'd like to contact us by email please email us at brookslake at wyoming.com and then uh, phone number would be 307-455-2121 and then there also is an online booking engine on the website if you if you feel more comfortable with that but otherwise you know we'd love to have you and uh, talk to you about your future vacation absolutely and it you know we give it our highest recommendation. I can say, of all the places we go, this is absolutely Leslie's number one favorite place in the world to visit. I like to hear and, that. You know, and, and it is, I got to say, it's very, very high up on my list too, you know, if not my favorite place. She gets so excited. I'm so excited to come just because she is, and we just have a blast here. Everyone is so friendly, so accommodating. Everything is top-notch and just so wonderful. The food, the activities, the service, the friendliness, everything is just everything that you would expect it to be in any place you would want to vacation and visit in your life. You're just going to have an incredible time here. So definitely think about it. And if you don't want to contact them directly, you can certainly give us a call at Kingdom Magic Vacations. We'd love to help you as well. So either way you want to go um, would be awesome. And if you're like Leslie, if you just want to go and see the snow, check out the webcam. Just go to it's oh, yeah. Brooks it's Lodge. Bro it's brookslake.com. Brookslake.com. And actually have a webcam here so you can see the snow falling. So um, that's something I highly recommend as well. If we haven't whetted your appetite enough to want to come out here, go and check it out yourself. And you can see what the conditions are. And see how deep the snow coach is in snow. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's kind of yeah. the thing I look yeah. at. To see how much exactly. snow is piled up yeah. and how they're how they're digging it away. So we're going to leave you with just a little bit of video uh, of some of our snowmobiling and we hope to see you right back here on another episode of Travel with Rick real soon. Thanks a lot, Adam. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it.
At Kingdom Magic Vacations, we believe that life should be measured out in memories. For over 17 years, Kingdom Magic Vacations has specialized in making vacation dreams come true for families visiting Disneyland, Walt Disney World, Disney Cruise Line, and Adventures by Disney. Kingdom Magic Vacations has been honored as an authorized Disney vacation planner, and that means we are recognized by Disney as a leader in planning magical vacations to Disney destinations. Our knowledge and experience allows our travel professionals to custom tailor your Disney vacation and make them truly magical. We know that each moment you spend on vacation creates a memory that lasts a lifetime. You can start planning your magical Disney vacation by visiting KingdomMagic.com today. Thanks a lot for watching this week's show. We're here in the atrium of the Brilliance of the Sea on World Caribbean. Having an awesome cruise. Got a day here at sea. Wanted to thank you for watching our show and remind you to stick your email address up there in the upper right hand corner. That way you'll be signed up for our notifications and you won't miss a thing here on Travel with Rick. Every time we post something new, you'll be the first to hear about it. And if you want to find out more about what's going on with Travel with Rick, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash travel with Rick. Over there is where we post our question of the week. We tell you where we're going, talk about where we've been, and you can also hang out with other Travel with Rick friends right there. And if you're on iTunes or YouTube, yeah, we've got channels for you over there as well. So if you're into that, check those out. You'll love it. Okay, so you never know where we're going to be. Check us out right back here next week for another episode of Travel with Rick. So long, everybody.